Hey, I'm Kate with PageFly. Did you know that having clear and concise content can make a huge difference in your online store's success? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create engaging content using the heading and paragraph elements in PageFly. First things first, let's talk about the headings. Go to the PageFly dashboard and select Create Blank Page. This will open the page editor. You'll find two types of editors, the Gen 2 editor for flexible sections and the legacy editor for traditional rows and columns. Select the editor that suits you best. I'll choose the Gen 2 editor for its speed and efficiency. On the page editor, click on the plus icon to find the heading. Drag and drop the element you want into the page editor and then start using it. Now, let's make those headings pop in the general tab. In the content section, you can insert and style the heading here. Feel free to customize the wording here. Here you can select the heading tag for your text. Enable the setting to show icon in display section. If you enable icon, you can choose icon position and alignment here. Next, you can add click action for the heading like direct to URL, open a pop-up and others. Scroll down, you can set the visibility, attribute, and animation. Head to styling tab to make the heading more prominent. With heading element, you can choose global style for it. You also can set the heading in different state. I will set the heading in normal state with this color and font size. In mouse over state, I will add another content color like this. So when you hover on this heading, the content color has changed. Scroll down, you can set the size including width and height. If you select fill, the heading will automatically expand to fill the entire flex block. If you choose hug, the heading's width will adjust to the size of its content, which is hot summer. For the fixed width, you can set a specific width for heading. That mechanism will apply similarly to the height of the heading. Text alignment. Text style for heading. Click on more setting to adjust more like font weight. Line height, letter spacing, and text transform. Heading element comes with various parameters in styling tab for you to tackle to create a high converting heading for the page. For the heading in the legacy editor, its settings are quite similar to those in the Gen 2 editor. The difference is that, in the legacy editor, the heading is placed within columns, while in the Gen 2 editor, the heading is placed directly within a flex block or flex section. Please note that in the legacy editor, you won't have the option to set the size with width and height for the heading in the styling tab. To add text to a Shopify page using PageFly, you can still utilize paragraph elements. To display content, body, or descriptions for any section on your page. The paragraph settings in PageFly allow you to adjust content, customize the font, spacing, and background color, similar to the options for headings. Now, let's assign product sources to these product lists and complete the page layout. This concludes our tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful videos. Thank you for watching.